All right, once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Kodash, the Valenus, the Anterior Apostles, and the others of Great Millstone. So, all the Archims worldwide, I want to say, Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMS in that camp. Just by a quick edification to the spirit of the Mosa, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. My edification today is entitled, Which Mark? Do you want either Tau or Karagma? Yeah, and it goes back to the times when they're going to be setting a mark on your people. Now, there's two marks that is going to be set. One from the Musa Yahab Hashem as an, a, a, a way of exemption, which is Tav, and one from Esau which is karagma, which means to stamp or to input or to imprint on your people and them the FRFID chip. Yeah? So I'm just going to build some quick scriptures to show you guys. There are two marks over there. Which mark you want? If you want to break it down, you want the good mark or the bad mark? We want to put it as simple, in a simple form and start. So I'll start out with easy catch up to 9 and go all the way down. It said, He cried also in my ear with a loud voice saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, Six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lied towards the north, and every man is slaughtered a weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed in linen, with his with the inkers, with salak, with the writer's inkhorn in his hand. They went in and stood before the brazen altar, and the glory of the power of Israel was going up from the cherubim, cherubim whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with linen which had the inkers or the writer's ink on by his hand and the Lord Yahweh said unto him go through the midst of the city to the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark. Yeah, that mark goes back to Tav in the Hebrew tongue. Tav. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that is done in the midst thereof. Hey, and that goes back mainly to the men of Great Millstone. Because we are coming out here and crying and telling you people you're going you're doing wicked things hey i mean we ain't sinless but we're doing the will of the most high how about shame and shy because in this flesh you can never be perfect but the wickedness are you people and them that you doing hey, it surpasses it surpasses Solomon and Gomorrah. so yeah we out here sighing and crying on the streets and on the highways on the byways, on the side, any, any, any corner we could find. We telling you people and showing you people their transgression. Because you people drinking our juice and drinking our wine. That is not of the wine of the Mosai Hava Shemeshai. Hey, that wine is of Edom, Esau, the so-called white man. And that wine is going to ultimately kill you people and them. And verse 5, and to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not thy eyes spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom the mark is. And begin at my sanctuary. Uh, begin at Israel first, begin at men who 
may actually be part of great millstone and do have that mark, do have that tab. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house, and he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew the city. That is for you people and them who have this RFID chip. And you do have that markup tab. Because that FRF RID chip goes back to Revelation chapter 13, verse 15 to 17. Which said, He had power to give life. Going up higher, they're talking about a beast, but it went through a transition period of power. And that power is talking about this very time where the power of the earth right now is America, and they are the great and mighty power. Ultimately, they are Rome. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and an image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. He caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark. And that mark there, in the Hebrew tongue translation, it goes back to Karakma. That's Esau mark. In their right hand and in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of that name. Yeah, which go back to 666, which go back to that chip, that chipping system. The earth right right now for that chipping system. Yeah. So, which mark you want? You want the mark of the Moses, how much you shine? Or you want the mark of Esau? But anyhow you take it, hey, two thirds of you Israelites had to die. It goes back to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. Because of your wickedness. It said, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, how about Shemeshai, two thirds? Therein shall be cut off, but a third shall be left therein. And a third go back to 144,000 men. And then there are the saints, the Mosai, Hav, Hashem, Yishai. So the lesson today was, hey, Tav, Karagma, which mark you want? Which side you want? That they want the mark of the Mosai, Hav, Hashem, Yishai, of Tav, by exemption. Or the mark of Karagba destruction. Choose it today with side. Hey, with that, I want to give all praise to say, How Bashem Yushai, Bashem Kodash, double as we enter the impostors and the other great millstone. To the Akims, keep pushing this truth. Shalom.